Good morning. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about a two sample dependent t test. So I'll share my screen with you. A random sample of six automobiles was selected and were driven for one week without a gasoline additive and then for one week with gasoline additive. Same cars without gasoline additive and with gasoline additive. So being the same car, this would be a dependent t-test. The manufacturer of the gasoline additive claims that the additive increases the gasoline mileage. The following table gives the miles per, uh, per gallon for these automobiles without the additive and with the additive. Using the 5% level of significance, can you conclude that use of gasoline additive increases the gas mileage? Assume the population of pair differences is approximately normally distributed. Okay, as I told you, this is a dependent, a dependent sample t-test. The reason is, first of all, we don't know the population standard deviation. Second of all, we are doing the test without additive and with additive on the same automobile. So they depend on each other, okay? So let's assume the subscript one is equal to without additive and two is with additive. So our alternate or test hypothesis is mu one less than mu two, okay? Without additive is less than with additive. And the null hypothesis is mu one equal to mu two. If we subtract mu two on both sides of the equation, we get mu one minus mu two equal to zero and mu one minus mu two less than zero. Let us call mu one minus mu two as mu subscript D, mu difference. So our null hypothesis becomes mu D equal to zero and the alternate mu D less than zero. We are given the level of significance alpha is equal to 0 0.05. So we are going to use TI-84 calculator, enter without additive data in L1, okay? Like I have shown, and with additive data in L2. So you're going to do stat one, which is edit, and then enter data in L1 and L2. Then you will move the cursor to the top line in L L3, first line in L3, and then up where L3 is written. And there you are going to type in the equation L1, second one, minus second two, enter. Second, so you do L1, second one, minus second two, you will see the equation L3 equal to L1 minus L2 at the bottom left corner of the calculator screen. And after typing the equation, you hit enter. So L3 is filled up with difference between L1 minus L2. And we have to do a test on L3, t-test on L3. So stat, press the stat key, then highlight test, and then go down to t-test. Here your input will be on data. Bring the cursor on data and hit enter so that it's flashing on data. Mu zero is zero. Remember, your hypothesized population mean difference is zero. So mu zero is zero. List is L3. If it is L1 or L2 something there, you have to type in L3, which is second three. Frequency is equal to one, you're not going to touch. Then in the fourth line, the alternate hypothesis is less than mu zero. So bring your cursor on less than mu zero and hit enter. Okay, so that is flashing on less than mu zero. This is our way of telling the calculator that the alternate hypothesis is mu less than mu zero. And we have already told the calculator mu zero is zero. Now we bring our cursor on calculate and hit enter. Okay, our test statistic T is zero. Our P value is 0.5, which is greater than alpha is 0 0.05. So since P is greater than alpha, decision is failed to reject H0. And we conclude at alpha equal to 0 0.05, there's not enough evidence to support the alternate H, which is mu D less than zero or mu one minus mu two less than zero. I will stop here today. If you have a comment, please write a comment and I'll get back to you. And please, uh, if you like my video, please hit the like button and also please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. Of the screen. So please hi 
hit this red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. And I'll see you next time when I come back with the next new problem and a new solution.